Shout out to Dark Visitor for sending me this story. And it's across the pond yet again and more debauchery coming from you know who. You can already tell by the look of this picture that this guy is a complete and total creep in every sense of the word. Now, this right here has to be one of the biggest forms of PC privilege that I will ever talk about on my channel. And I've talked about quite a few PC privilege style stories. But this one right here takes the whole a la carte table. So this guy's name is Callum Haycock, and he is 21 years of age from this place called Kid Kidder, Kidder Minister, Kidder Minster, I guess that's how you pronounce it, over in the UK. And this guy is 21 years old, and he is a pedophile. And he he basically was on trial because he raped this five year old girl and instead and he pled guilty. But instead of him getting the proper punishment that he should have, this guy was able to walk out of that courtroom, a free man with only having to do community service. And the worst part about this whole thing is that this happened while the mother of the little girl was in the courtroom. So she was immediately devastated having to hear that. A lot of people think that um, privilege for palm colored people only happens when it comes to situations when they're uh, encountering us. No, they get privilege amongst themselves when they're going against each other. And like one of my uh, followers on Twitter said, in this society, in this world, not just in the U.S., it's protect the white man at all costs or the white boy at all costs no matter what we have seen this type of thing happen before uh, time and time again shoot this guy got more privilege than what's his face uh brock turner at least he, he at least he saw the inside of a jail cell for three months this guy is not getting any jail time at all all he got was some community service and i think probation i don't even know if he has to register as a sex offender but we're gonna find out because i'm about to read this article a devastated mother has slammed the sentence handed to the to the pedophile who raped her five year old daughter after he walked free from court with only community service. The mother, who cannot be named to protect her daughter's um, anonymity, said her family's life had been ripped apart after Callum Haycock, age 21, uh, from Kidderminster, Worcestershire, was spared prison. The pedophile who was found guilty of raping a child under 13 at Worcester Crown Court on October 1st was sentenced to a three-year community order and 35 days rehabilitation requirement. I never knew that a person who was found guilty of being a pedophile could, on, could get rehab. But only in this society, when someone who looks like this guy in this picture, who's holding a toy truck and kissing it and looking into the camera the way that he is, after he pled guilty to raping a five-year-old girl, can get something like that. And mind you, like I said, this is over in the UK. This is not here in the States. So people who think that this stuff is just conducive to the US, you're sadly mistaken. I'm starting to think that some of the laws over in the UK are just as bad, if not worse, than the ones over here. They, these are like, this is like draconian level type um, sentencing, if you want to call it that. This guy's not going to see any type of jail time. He only got three years of community order which means he's basically going to have to do community service for three years and 35 days for rehab and i first i thought that he was going to have to do probation according to what i've read so far it sounds like he's not even getting that he literally walked away from this scot free this isn't even a slap on the wrist he did his wrist didn't even get touched He was also fined 200 pounds in order to pay 2,500 pounds to the victim as well as being put on the sexual offenders register for five years. So he only has to pay a low fine and only pay 2,500 pounds, which I'm sure amounts to nothing, to the victim. And he only has to register as a sex offender for five years. He's 21 now, which means when he turns 26, <clears throat> he's off the list. So let's let, let's run this down right quick. This guy pled guilty to raping a five-year-old girl. He's 21. He gets no jail time. He doesn't 
he uh he only has to do three years of community service, thirty five days of rehab, pay a two hundred dollar fine plus an additional twenty five hundred uh I'm sorry two hundred pound fine and twenty five hundred pounds to the victim and only has to register as a sex offender for five years. If this is not the biggest form of PC privilege you have ever heard, please point me in the direction of something that's more greater than this. Like, I know people are going to say, Torian, you shouldn't be shocked by this. You shouldn't be shocked. I'm not so much shocked, but it's just that it's, how can I, um, how can I put it? It's amazing how you have a group of people on a global scale who can get away with this level of crime. This guy admitted and pled guilty that he did what he did. And that's the only punishment he gets. I need to see or find out who this judge is because it's pretty much always left up to the judge at the end of the day that allows people like him to walk away from this guy free. Like this guy, all I'm going to say is this. I don't know how the people get down over in the UK, but uh, he, they need to make it to where he's always looking over his shoulder. Point blank period. Catch him slipping one good time. That's all you need. Following his sentencing, the girl's mother described how she saw no justice for her daughter and vowed to appeal the sentence at the high court. She said, I ran out of the court and slammed the door behind me. As I walked out of the court, I just shouted, it's an effing joke. I see no justice for my daughter in this. We've appealed to the high court in London. This has ripped our lives apart. We've had to have counseling. It's ruined our lives. It separated me and my partner because we both didn't know how to deal with it. So we took it out on each other. That's crazy. This ordeal ended up breaking up her relationship with her, um, with whoever she was in a relationship with. That's how devastating what this guy did, did to the mother and her personal relationship with whoever she was with. So he affected he infected this woman's entire family and her whole, and not just her daughter, but also her own personal relationship. That's what he did from this one violent act. However, the heartbroken mother says she has found consolation in the courage of her daughter who testified at the trial. She added, she's been incredibly brave. She gave evidence at the trial and everything. I'm immensely proud of her. I'm sorry, immensely proud of her. She's one of the bravest little girls I've ever met. She will get over this. Well, maybe, but she will never forget it. It will always be there, but she's not the sort that is going to let it ruin her life. She still smiles every day and gets on with her life. She does wet the bed, but we're going through counseling to try to sort that out. She has difficulties forming relationships with strange men in her life, obviously. We told her that he'd got to pay her some money because he's got to pay her 2,500 pounds compensation. And she turned around and said she wants to give it to the poor. The police were amazing with us. And so were witness support. They were very supportive and patient and they handled everything with dignity. If I were her, I would be taking that money to see if I can fight, if I can hire myself an assassin. I said it. That's what I listen. That's what I will be doing. Taking some of that money to see if I can afford someone to knock this guy off. Because he does not deserve to walk around free. But now y'all are seeing how corrupt their system is over there. That this guy admitted to violently raping a five-year-old girl. And he was just a label, a label. He was just able and allowed to walk out of that courtroom practically a free man i mean what's that what is him doing community service or having to go to rehab really going to do he's still going to be able to go around and live his life so what he's labeled he's put on a register on the sex offenders list for five years that just means he can't be that just means he can't be around certain people but shoot it didn't even say in an article if he couldn't be around kids like that, if you want to talk about a true miscarriage of justice, look no further than this story right here. Like, I've, I've, like I said, I've talked about many stories on my channel for the last four years that I've really been diving into doing this whole YouTube thing. 
But I can honestly say I don't think I've ever come across a story quite like this. I've talked about many stories where children have been sexually assaulted, molested, raped, or worse. And this one right here has to be one of the worst ones. And the, ir and the irony of it all is it did not happen in the States. It happened in one of the most palm-colored nations on the planet. But yeah, they have a lot of issues going on over in the UK. And, you know, we think, I think it's, it's crazy. We think we have it bad here, but you'll be surprised what goes on in these other nations. But, you know, they don't really put it out there like that. But her daughter, this woman's daughter is going to have to go through a lot of therapy to try to get her life back on track at the age of five. That's going to follow her. For the rest of her life. And like her mother said. It's going to be hard for her to form relationships with men. When she gets older. When she gets of age. To want to you know, get into the dating market. And then you know. It's going to be hard. Because uh, like say a, a good guy comes her way. And he tries to get you know, to know her. You know, on a genuine level. And she's standoffish. A lot of people in her position. Are not going to want to talk about the ordeal. That she went through. What caused her to have a lack of trust in men. Now, this is the kind of person that I would give a pass to when she can't be or when she says she can't really be around men. Not like these brain dead, bird headed, so-called feminists that don't like men just for the sake of not liking them. Like this girl went through something traumatic, very traumatic at the hands of a very older man who could have been old enough to be her dad. At least. And he gets to walk around free. Imagine if she one day, you know, is walking somewhere, whatever, years down the line, and she bumps into him or she sees his face. But see, the judge and whoever's over the court, because no, like I said, notice they didn't mention the judge's name in the article. They're not going to take that into account. All of those bad memories are going to come back and flare up. What if she gets into a position where she kind of locks everything away and she's really trying to move on with her life and she sees him? Like a person would never forget that face. They'll try, but you can't. It's always going to be embedded somewhere there because it was a trauma incident. And it happened at such a young age. You'll be amazed how many kids can retain a lot of information. And something like that is not only unforgivable, but is for damn sure unforgettable. I hope the worst happens to this man. I don't care if he got to walk, if some kind of final destination thing happens to him where he walks under, I don't know, a falling brick. I don't know. Let something happen to him. And I think that the world will be better off without him. But y'all let me know what you think.